Its hitbox will be quite small. Okay, it's, it doesn't need any more food. It'll be fine. Unless it eats sugar. Too. What? How'd it do that? I thought it was supposed to tell me when it was full. Oh, that's probably because it's untamed. So I can either tame it by feeding it, or I can tame it by using a whip. And I would actually prefer to feed it to tame it. Because the other option seems cool. Fine thing for it. <laughs> Yay! Maybe we'll also go ahead and start with one of these guys. The Velociraptor, in my experience, is hard to take care of because of the size and the aggression. Um, I'll go with this guy. I don't remember if it's a fish or a bug, so we'll figure it out when we get to it. Oh, I have to make that weird goose stuff again. Oh my goodness. Are there any chickens? Okay, I guess not. Well, today's gonna be a building day. Probably. And I need to start by gathering materials. And what I'm actually going to be building is a lab to be cultivating my dinosaurs in. So I think this is a good area. I have a big sort of half circle shape that goes out like a warehouse sort of thing and then comes off into a greenhouse where I'll have the wheat growing for the goo. And then in the lab I can also have a wall of cultivators, although I don't have one to make them. Hopefully I do. And I think I'll keep the sifters in there, but I don't know about the other thing. I forget what the other thing is. I think this one can go in the lab. It looks so lab -y. But I'll go ahead and get started on that. Is this a tar slime? It's very slow. And it stretches a whole lot. Oh! <laughs> Where'd you come from? Sit down. 
yeah, I'll get back, I'll sleep, I'll continue chopping down some trees. Um, I've decided to make the main body out of wool because it's white and I'm to like, what is <laughs> I don't know what I'm really gonna do. I have no plan. Uh, I'm thinking overgrown, definitely like the one in Jurassic Park where it's like, <laughs> What's that? Oh. See that? Oh. That's not a skeleton one, is it? Because I don't want to approach it if it is. Is that my dogs? So I did end up making some bio goo. Actually, I believe I have it in here. I had some extra. And right above my cursor here is what I made with it. I'm not sure if it's a fish or what. So I'm going to keep it in there because I have no idea what it eats or what it is. And I don't want to look it up. I want to figure this out on my own. So I'm going to go ahead and make a feeder. Okay. Uh... I went ahead and made myself armor because I realized I've been going in this world for 33 Minecraft days, which is quite a bit of time without any armor. But I did go ahead and finish this, so we've got 322 meat and 260 uh, plant, and that should be enough to keep an herbivore or a carnivore alive. And. I think now is a good time to go ahead and hatch it. Maybe we can do a dinosaur every episode, a new one. For that, I will have to go and do more mining off camera and gather some more DNA, you know? So, oh, I'm so scared this thing is gonna suffocate. Please be a fish. Okay. Is it a fish? Looks like a fish. Why is it making that sound? Is it dying? No, I'm dying. I really, I gotta go get that book. Are you drowning? Stop moving. Uh, it looks like a fish. It's a sectivore, and it's final hunger. Okay. Oh, what's it doing? What? What was that? Oh, oh, uh, it's eating. It's hungry. Territory. It's got my health. What is this thing? What's it doing? Sitting and not dying. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is scary. Oh no, I don't want it to die. I love it so much. I decided mining was probably an easier way to get some spiders, so I brought my dogs down to help me kill them. And while doing so, I found some diamonds. So that's going to add my. make my diamonds. Oh! Whoops. 
Well, that's gonna make my diamonds into six. So, I just got back. Turns out a dog got into the animal pit and killed the sheep. But, I do have bones, so that's like a free pet for me. Alright, I think five fish will be enough. So, yeah, let's go ahead and start feeding the new baby fishy. If it will stop moving. Oh, two at once. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I think it's okay. Maybe it's... I'll keep fishing. And hopefully, one more fish will be enough. Because it's been taking a while. That's a good fish. And I'm worried about feeding them to the chicken. right now. Yeah, I'm worried about feeding them to the tick to leave. But I did test by putting one in here and it counted itself as food, so Oh, it's sleeping! How cute is that? So now we can get a look at its model and I assume those are its eyes poking up above its head. Maybe it put the role of like a small alligator. Oh, it likes the puppy horse, that's good. <laughs> yes! Okay, <laughs> two more was the perfect one. Carnivorous sector. So. Oh. I wasted time fishing. Because it also eats land and stuff. Super cute. I love it so much. I did though bring the analyzer in here and stick some bones in. So we got some stuff out of that, including one row or what this is. Ornithoristus. Um Let's just put it in and see what happens. Okay, here we go. I wonder what it's gonna look like. Well, while we wait on that, why don't we go ahead and maybe get a better enclosure set up for this? Or we can put it in. I think oh, the sound it makes so much. That's fine. Uh I've finished its enclosure, so we're gonna go and look at that. I'll give it to you. So, you should be able to get out of the vine and walk all the way over. Come on. Come in the water. Come on. You can do it. So yeah, it's like really green and red now. And it's eyes. You can see the yellow, finally. I wonder... Oh. Yeah? Let's go. Can you get through there? 
so yeah you see that you see the yellow on there and look at this hitbox kind of small so yeah oh my goodness it sounds like you're gonna die when you do that and then you can see how compatible she is with bird over here actually speaking of bird I need to get a sign and make a nameplate for because Kutsu gave bird a name I also was thinking something similar to Stampy's lovely garden in his series where we can have a wall of people who've named who suggested names or given names so I think I'll go ahead and do that actually not this second obviously because this second I need to get a sign for birds enclosure and I did raise the leaves just because it seems like she's getting stuck on here I'll actually take this down too for now because right now I think she's having some trouble with eating. Yeah, see? Okay. I'll take this one down too because I did notice that she was stuck in the corner, not moving, and she was starving. And I really don't want that to happen again if I go off on some journey or if I forget to take care of her for a little bit. Because I want to eventually send her off into a larger enclosure with some larger herbivores but right now because of how i'm worried about that i need to keep her in a place all alone where i can closely monitor her instead of just search for her in a big place okay there's bird and now let's get in here and create a wall of neighbors <laughs> it's not a very good name for the wall of neighbors maybe someone can suggest a name for it Source. Okay, there we go. And next, we're gonna need someone who has named our Tick to Leak. And actually, while I was building that Tick to Leak enclosure, we have some more DNA. So next time, I will go ahead and hatch this Ornitholistus egg. <laughs> that was a struggle to say. Uh, it didn't take up as much fire goo, which is really nice of it. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, so next time we have this little egg here.